Oh my god, wait, so before we start, we're gonna have a little mini mukbang. <laughs> <laughs> I got some pop tarts. <laughs> and they're vegan. Funny. They're vegan. I got the strawberry They're not one. vegan? Yes, they are. That's strawberry. I'm like oh. holding your head. It's sort of weird. Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't eat a whole pop tart package. Oh yeah. Tell oh, them. Yeah. Okay, so today is a story time, but Jaron hasn't heard the story before, so he's gonna be reacting in real time <laughs> to the story, and you're gonna see all his reaction. Um, this story actually happened yesterday, <laughs> <laughs> but it was an all-day event. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> what? Okay, so it started the crack of dawn. <laughs> when, Literally. I, when I woke up. That's why. <laughs> and somebody. Who I was just hanging out with was also was sleeping over. <laughs> Whisper it to me. Oh. Could you just bleep out the name? Just say it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> That's so, funny. We have to leave that in there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, we wake up and I check my phone as usual to see the morning news. <laughs> and then my group message from my house, my roommate texted me this picture. I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> I'll show you. <laughs> oh my god, wait. Okay. So, this is the picture. I'll put it up, but... What's that white stuff? Yeah, so there's white stuff all over the carpet that wasn't there the night before. And, like, none of us had spilled anything, like, that we remembered. I went to bed pretty early, and my roommate went to bed pretty early, and, like... <laughs> anyway, none of us had spilled anything, and so we were all, like, super confused, and, like, we just thought it was a ghost, like, immediately, because, first of all, I know somebody who used to always go out of town, and when they would come back, like, on their couch, there would be, like, white powder... And it was a ghost, and they always locked up their house. They didn't have the housekeeper like it just white powder, powder? appeared. I yeah, it was like plasma. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know what I'm talking about? No. Like in those ghost, ghost, ghost. Get how do I speak English? Those ghost busting shows, like plasma or whatever. It's like mm -hmm. gooey. It's like gooey stuff that shows like a ghost was there. One of my friends asked if it was demon cum. <laughs> You know who you are. <laughs> um, I don't. My God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then that happened, and about 20 minutes later, I go downstairs to get breakfast, and we walk downstairs, and we're like, gonna look at the stairs and like see this in real life, and it's gone. And it's only been 20 minutes, but my roommate who said it in the group um, was gone. So I figured she had like, gone to work. Wait, what about the other roommate? So my first roommate went to work at 6 a.m. and she just went straight down the stairs out the door like to work, so she didn't spill anything or do anything on the carpet. And then my second roommate, who texted the picture when she woke up at about like 9, she had also gone to work by the time I got out of bed at like 9.20. And so, I just figured that she had like cleaned it up while she, before she went to work, because she's mm. like very clean. And so I was like, okay, whatever, like, I was unfazed. And then, the second crazy thing that happened was I went on a hike yesterday by myself with my dog. And I checked my phone like halfway through the hike, and I had like a missed call. But I've been like applying for jobs, so I called it back, because I figured it was like maybe one of those bosses. And this guy answers, like, it doesn't even ring, like, he answers immediately. And he goes, hey, what's up, what's up? I go, who is this? And he's like, ha, I got you, didn't I? In, like, the creepiest voice ever. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and so then, like... Who was it? I don't know, so then later that day, I was, like, texting my friend, and... You didn't talk to him No, I hung up, I was so scared. <laughs> I, I was, like, it. alone on this trail, like, in the mountains, and I was like, who is following me? Like, who is tracking my phone? And so I, like, was texting one of my other friends later, and I told him the phone number that had called me, and so he, like, Googled it for me, and it's, like, marked as an unsafe caller, <laughs> like, online. I don't know what that means, but it means he's probably gonna try to kill me. <laughs> and then... Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> and then the third thing that happened that just made me lose my <laughs> lose my marbles. Making <laughs> me lose my marbles. Um. Okay, this was the craziest one of all. <laughs> so, okay, mm -mm, there was one more thing. So then my roommate who sent the picture in the group came home later, and I was just like hanging out. We were talking. So there she goes. Oh, thank you so much, Sarah, for cleaning up the white stuff on the carpet. And I was like, I didn't clean it up. And when I came downstairs. It was, <laughs> when I came downstairs, it was gone, so I figured you cleaned it up. And she was like, I thought you cleaned it up because it's gone now. Okay, but what about the third roommate? She's been gone all day. She's in Boulder. <laughs> She's like 40 minutes away from my house. So she has just been gone. She has not been in the house. And I've been home all day, like I haven't left at all. Except for the hike. <laughs> there was a lot. <laughs> and 
so then we were just like freaking out because it just magically cleaned up in like 20 minutes between the time she sent it and the time I came downstairs. And then the third thing that happened, so that roommate went back to work. She was like on a break when she came home and was talking to me. And then my other roommate who had been in Boulder all day comes back with her friend. And we were just talking. We were all sitting in my room, talking, whatever. And then my room's upstairs. So then they go down the stairs, out the door, and like walk through the living room to leave to the car. Because they're like, going to go shopping or something. And I'm home alone in my room. And then eventually I go downstairs like 20 minutes later and I sit on the couch for about an hour just like doing stuff on my computer like whatever. And then I leave the living room to go to the bathroom in my kitchen so you can't see the living room like from the kitchen. And I come back and there's a book on the living room floor in the middle of the carpet. No. Yeah. <laughs> leave. <laughs> you have to get out. See it? You have to move. So the place where the book was, you have to walk over no matter what when you're coming down the stairs and going into the living room. Like it's this little tiny like space between the chair and the stairs that you walk through. This is scary. And so the book, like I definitely would have noticed it if I walked downstairs and had to step over it. And also my roommate and the guy she was with didn't notice it when they went downstairs and had to step over it. And it's always sitting on this ledge, like right next to that area. Like it's been there for months. And then all of a sudden it's on the floor. And when I walked back in the living room, like this was the first thing that caught my eye. So it was just really freaking me out. Um, and then I left to Denver because I was so scared of the ghost. <laughs> your house isn't haunted. I feel like you're haunted. Because we went to yeah. Cape Cod, there was a ghost there. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> just ghosts be always following you. I'm gonna get coffee, so be right back. Actually, I'm gonna take you with me. We're taking them. We're gonna do a little um, coffee recipe. My coochie's in the camera, isn't it? Let's go. Hey, let's go. We're gonna go. We're gonna get some coffee. I'm taking over. <laughs> hey, vlog. <laughs> so we're in this big house right now. Um, house sitting with Rachel. I don't know how close this camera is to my face, but I guess we'll find out. Um, this is really cute mirror. Okay. <laughs> so we're making some coffee. Well, it's actually already made. So we're just gonna, hello? Can you focus? Hello? No, okay, great. So, I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna take this coffee. You see? Yep. I'm just gonna pour it in there. She's hot. And we're gonna come over here. It's dark, sorry, you probably can't see me. We're gonna get some ice. Oh, I have to sit down for this one. Sorry. Oh my god, what's happening? There. Ah! Ah! Okay. I'm putting ice in there, I promise. Don't yell at me in the comments. Whoops. Oh, great. I put too much ice in. This coffee is like really watered down. <laughs> what if I down that glass? I fucking spite you. Oh. <laughs> I fucking spite you. <laughs> oh my god. There's only this much left. We love bloopers. You can't drink that on camera. Bye. You okay? <laughs> Seriously, like crying. Were like, you actually crying? Jordan did, like, went and sat and prayed like this. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> Rachel's behind the camera right now and she just goes, Help! <laughs> 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 oh my god! So, like, I'll tell some more ghost stories from my house. Jordan thinks that I'm haunted, but I think the house is haunted. No, you are. It's possible. I really This camera really just, like, clicked earlier it when we weren't filming. That. And she goes, It always does that. It's because you have it, because there's a ghost. Following you. There's probably a ghost in this house and you brought it in here. Ghost can be nice. I'm not staying here tonight. Why are you staying outside? The gates lock at 10. That's so bougie. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Okay, so the first ghost experience that we had in this house was in October, I think, and I was out of town and my roommate was out of town. And then our third roommate was there with her boyfriend and they were just staying like by themselves in the house. And like they went to bed like super early, they don't drink or anything, like nothing was crazy. 
<coughs> super don't, normal don't gym. Don't get night. crazy. Not crazy. <laughs> don't worry. So they were just like being normal, whatever. They went to bed. Everything was like normal. They wake up in the morning. Her boyfriend's still in bed. And my roommate goes downstairs and looks and like you walk down the stairs, you get straight into the living room. And our coffee table is pushed out. So we have the couch against one wall and the TV against the other. And they're like facing each other. And the coffee table in front of the couch. The coffee table is pushed out like all the way to the couch, like all the way across the room basically. And then we have an antler on our mantle above the fireplace. And that was like put on top of the coffee table. And then she walks into the kitchen and there's like a spatula stuck in like the scissor spot on the knife rack. Like the big square that you can put scissors in. And like they didn't do any of those things and like the spatula was like the weirdest one of all. Did your drunk ass do it? No, I was out of town. They were just there by themselves. <laughs> <laughs> the second thing that happened was another time I was out of town, I locked my door because I was gone for the weekend, my bedroom door, and I come back, and, um, so, they're, like, on lights on the ceiling, there's, like, sometimes, like, a big bulb that covers, like, a couple lights, like, in the middle of the ceiling instead of a ceiling fan. So I come back from my weekend away, and it's on the floor in the corner. So if it had gone that far, first of all, I would have had trouble diagonal. <laughs> second, if glass falls from the ceiling to the floor, wouldn't it shatter? There's screws that hold the bulb in place, and the screws were fully screwed in, but the bulb was just in the corner. Like, in the corner, like, against the wall, on the corner. And then also, all, like, not all of them, but a lot of the posters and pictures on my wall were, like, had fallen off the wall and were just, like, on the floor randomly. So, that sounds like a ghost experience to me. That's terrifying. The third ghost experience was, was one of my roommates, like, was in her room and she could hear like a man talking like outside of her room and she just figured like oh either one of her roommates has a guy over or somebody's on facetime with a guy and so then that was like one night and then the next morning she's like oh did one of you guys like have someone over or are you talking to someone on the phone and we we're both like no like we never talked to like any men last night and like we didn't, we didn't like watch tv on the tv like nothing no men were existing <laughs> <laughs> fuck men <laughs> dumb well do you follow me at jojo lewis 99 on instagram and twitter He's probably on Twitter, so you can't retweet him. <laughs> yeah, I'm funny as fuck, though. Your hair, My Twitter's whack. funnier. Your shoes, whack. Your clothes, whack. Her tweet games, whack. The way she doesn't even like to smile, whack. Me, I'm tight as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess we're out. Okay, see y'all next week. We're <laughs> 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 again. <laughs>